I want to tell you something with the help of Hashem. Yesterday I was receiving people and I heard a beautiful story. A beautiful story. But it's worth it to listen to it. So, you know, I learn from people. When I receive people, I learn from them. I learn. And the story was, a man came with his five children. The five were there. That one is 30, you know. They are not religious at all. And there is only one of them that is religious. He has a keeper. And he, he put fill in and he stood the Torah. Only one. So they came, they sit in front of me, and they told me, we have a big problem, but we know you are the only one with the help of Hashem to help us to resolve this problem. I said, what? I said, well, look, we are a big family. You see, this is my children. They are not religious. And they are both Hashem. They are good Jews. They do tzedakah. Da, 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 da. Well, uh, two of them are uh, converted with uh, two women. And uh, uh, reform. You know, uh, okay, what's the problem? The problem is this boy, his name is Jaime. He's married, his wife, she's religious. He don't come to eat with us because it's not kosher. And please uh, tell him. The Torah said, you have to respect your father and mother. He doesn't respect. And I looked at him. And I did not know, Bemet, I did not know what to answer him. I was very, very shocked with the, with the situation. And he told me, Rabbi, we know you for 20 years, and whatever you say, we will do. You decide, we will do. I started to think. I told him, whatever I tell you, you do? He said, yes. Whatever you say, I do. I said, okay. How old are you? She said, I am 75, 75 years old. Tell me, how long you want to live? He looked at me. said, well, uh, I don't want to live too much because, uh, thanks God, uh, I'm grandfather, uh, 85, 90. Okay? So you want Jaime to eat in your house, to bring his children to your house? He said yes. Because it's not a life. I want all my family to be united. So I asked the children, you put fill in? No. Shabbat? No. Kippur? Uh, I fast half day. No Shabbat, no Kippur. Kosher food? No. No, we don't eat Kippur. We're not kosher. So I looked at the, 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 the father. And I told him, you know, one day you're going to die. He said, I know. So at least I want the shalom, my family. I said, what about Kaddish? He said, what? What about Kaddish? What's this Kaddish? You know, when somebody died, the children say, it's Gadai, it's Gadai. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Kaddish, Kaddish. Yes, yes, Kaddish. So who is going to say Kaddish for you? He looked at me. Ah, he looked at them. Was shocked. So he looked at his, at Jaime, and uh, he said, Jaime, you will say Kaddish for me. Yes, Papa. But, Papa, if you want me to become like my brothers, I will not say Kaddish for you. 
So I looked at him. I told him, you have a chance. The only one who can see Kaddish for you, it's Chaimi. You want Chaimi to become like others? That's how I finished the conversation. He started crying. He said, you're right. Sometimes people don't think. Think in life. A lot of times people take decisions without thinking. It's so easy to know, to resolve problems. Easy. Like Esav. Esav. It was easy for him to resolve problems if he wanted. But he didn't want. So, what happened in the end? Separation between Yaakov and Esav. Baraka ve'atzlacha, amit ke'ratzon.